Welcome to FWC Tactical Knowledge, where the analyst of football is raw and detailed. Please remember to like and subscribe. Welcome to Future Class TV. I was analyzing the match that took place between Aston Villa and Liverpool. It was a wonderful match played by Liverpool. They dominated the match for the most part, and Aston Villa came back within the latter part of the game. But we'd be analyzing both systems that the team used starting with the winner, Liverpool. Now, Liverpool used an attacking structure of 3 2 5 and also 2 3 5 at times. And they also used a defensive structure of 4 3 3 in high press and 4 4 2 in mid block and low block. Now, how Liverpool's 3 2 5 is played is that one of the wide players will go into the half space, the left fullback will be a wide player in option. One of the wide players will stay wide. One of the attacking midfielders will go into the half space. The striker will stay between the two centre backs. One of the attacking midfielders will play as a box to box player. The, deep, the defensive midfielder will play as a deep line playmaker. The right fullback will come in to play three at the back along with the two centre backs. Now, as you can see, you have the three centre backs with the picture right here. You have the two midfielders or two players in the middle that create a diagonal shape. The picture shows it right here. You have the two players in the half space along with the striker, the picture shows you right here, and you have the two wide options, which one being the fullback and also one being the actual winger. Now how this formation is played is where the three at the back will create a triangular shape, which reason is to give the deep line, cent the deep line centre back options when possible to pass. You have the deep line playmaker who is responsible to connect the defense to attack and to be the option for the centre box to receive the ball. So you'll be typically the first player to receive the ball between the centre box for the centre box. You have the box to box midfielder who is responsible for playing attack and defense. And since for that, once the player, once the team has the ball. The players within the middle will create, a, will create a diagonal shape, as you can see right here. Then you have the players within the half space, which in Liverpool system was a winger and also an attacking midfielder. And their job is to penetrate the spaces in the half space. And the half space is between the left back and the centre back, or the left back, or the right back and the centre back, depending on each side. You have the upper half space and you have the lower half space. So they'll be responsible to mainly drop into spaces right here. Or right here. Or sometimes you see them drop within the middle to pick up the ball. You have the striker who is responsible to stay between the, the two centre backs and responsible to score goals. But the main positioning is to stay between the two centre backs. And that's where they mark the positions. So, the defensive structures that Liverpool decided to use for this game was of 43 high press and also 442 mid block. Now for the 43 high press, Aston Villa were using two centre forwards and typically if Aston Villa was either using two centre backs or three centre backs, typically Liverpool would always use a 43 high press. I think Klopp was actually the one to come up with this formation. But he, all right, all right, he's the one that generally always uses it. Now, the 43 high press is played like this. You have three center forwards that press the center box. You have three of the midfielders that um, ensure that they overload the middle. Whether it's three in the middle or two in the middle, but they overload the middle. 
you have typically the two center backs that press the attacking midfielders and you have the defensive midfielder that sit back to create that stability while they're pressing then you have the four defenders at the back who give pressure to any player that comes across now the high press is played like this it's played where if the ball is played to, to the right side then players would go over to the right side and to press and come over come over come over come over now if that didn't work Liverpool would use a 43 mid block and a 43 mid block is played like this where there's no pressing structure but they sit within the middle and create a shape within the middle so you add the T center forwards you add the T midfielders and they also add the four defenders at the back now Typically, it would be the right winger who would drop off at times to also play a 4 4 2 mid block. And you'd have the striker and the winger to come in to play striking. And they'd sit in front of the two fours to play a 4 4 2 mid block. Now, the weakness of this formation is that they don't have any defensive midfielder, so spaces could be penetrated, but typically to block off the middle, the, the wingers are normally tuck in beside the midfielders to create a more compact middle. And also at times, you would also have to play a 4 for 2 low block. Now a low block is where you is the most compact structure within a defensive block. And that's where you can call it parking the bus and they sit right between the goal, right in front of the goalkeeper to be compact in the middle and they give spaces out wide. And there, this was the formation and the system that Liverpool used against Aston Villa. Now Aston Villa system was played with a T25 and the defensive structure was of a 5T2 with also a 442. Now the 5T the T25 is played with three center box with a triangle when attacking at a deep line playmaker and box box and feeler and they created a diagonal shape in the middle. They had two players within the half space who was responsible to penetrate the, the, the upper half space and the lower half space which is between the, the upper half space is between the centre back and full back the upper half space is between the midfielder and winger and they're responsible for penetrating and sometimes they could drop here. Right here, but there are players inside forwards and they're supposed to penetrate the half spaces. The other striker who was sitting between the center box who played as a fast nine, and there are two winners who give width or wide. Now, at times, Aston Villa would switch the winger and the attacking midfielder in the half space with sometimes alternate positions. So, I'm going to go here and go here. Anthony rules right here. here. And yeah, that's how the attacking structure was played. Now the defensive structure that Aston Villa used was of a 5T2 high press. They sometimes use a 5T2 mid block and for the most part they use a 4 4 2 mid block. Now the 5T2 high press is played with two strikers who press the centre box. You have the three midfielders who press the midfielders in the middle. And you have the five players who would overload the buck and keep pressure 
know what a good player that gets about. Now I said the high press is played where wherever the ball is, that's where the players will press. So the ball is over on this side, the players will press this side. Come across and press. And the main aim of the high press is to move the ball back fast and to also win it. Now if the high press didn't work, as some people would transcend into a 5 to 2 mid block at times. And this consists of the five players who would sit in front of the goalkeeper. And the defensive midfielder would be the first midfielder to sit in front of the five. And the two attacking midfielders would come to create the components in the middle beside the defensive midfielder. And the defensive midfielder is responsible to ensure that the attacking midfielders stay compact within the middle and create the three. Shape. And you have the two strikers who sit in front of them. Now, for the most part, when defending, Aston Villa used a 4 4 2 mid block. And this is where you had four players, which consist of the two centre backs and the Full backs at the back, they had the winger, the wingers and the midfielders within the middle, and they had the two strikers up front. And the shape would look like this. If they play in a low block, they also use a 5D2 in the low block. So you play here. And the low block is made where it's more compacted in the middle and gives spaces out wide. So they're more compact within the middle and they basically part the bus with the goalkeeper. Low block is played when the opponent is extremely deep in their defensive third and they play a shape to stop that. So these are this is how the two teams play by the future class perspective. A lot more content for many years to come. Working on the improvement on the tactical, the technical, and the physical and nutritional aspect of the craft. We're going world class. We're going world class. FWC, I'm out.